Sorry. Are you guys all awake now? <laughs> if you weren't before, you should be now. Okay, so now, okay, check this one out. So I found, there's a card by Joyce Whitman that I have saved on my Pinterest board. One of those like, oh, I just really wanna make that card. I think she used the tulip stamp on here and I thought, okay, I'm gonna try it with the Morning Star stamp set. But I loved this layout and it's there. It's more, um, detailed cutting that I normally do so you guys have to, you're gonna laugh I mean it's really not that much but anyway I felt like whoo man these these are funny cuts Joyce um, but I loved the card that she made so I have to share that was kind of the jumping off point to get me started with this particular card okay so and we have got we used almost all of the stamps in this stamp set not all the sentiments obviously don't have enough cards to use all of the sentiments on, but most of the flower stamps. So this just kind of adds to, adds some more flowers and things, and then the cute little star stamp too. So this time we are going to start with, this is, uh, is it Purple Posy? It's, the, you know, that color that we don't have the ink pad for, that I do have the ink pad that I was dying to use it on this card. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Purple Posy, because I love this super soft, pale purple, right? So this time we made a tall card. So along the eight and a half inch side, we cut it at four and a quarter inches. And then along the uh, 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches to make our tall card this time, okay? We also have, this is where you have to bear with me because the measurements are, are whew, really detailed, ladies. You're gonna laugh. I mean, they're not, but <laughs> this one's simple. Lovely lipstick, lovely lipstick, four by five and a quarter inches. Okay, that's just this one right here. I originally thought she cut little pieces that kind of went around each of those, but no, this is this full piece that then you layer the other pieces on. These are just scraps of lovely lipstick and whisper white that we're gonna use for our sentiment and the little scallop circle behind it. So I'm gonna put those over there. We have these two pieces that are those right there, okay? So this one is lovely lipstick measuring three inches by four and three eighths, okay? And then this one is whisper white measuring two and seven eighths by four and one quarter, okay? So those are gonna layer right on there. That's what we're gonna do our stamping on, okay? We also, though, these are the fun, the, oh my gosh, the little extra. <laughs> I'm sorry, I keep going on and on about that. It's really not that bad. So this one is one and seven eighths by three and a half, okay? And this one's a little bit different size. This one is one and seven eighths by three and five eighths, okay? Hey, Amy, how are you? Now this one, same thing, they're both one and seven eighth inch wide, whisper white, but this one is one and a half, and then this one is one and seven eighths by one and three eighths. And I will have all of these measurements on my blog, so you don't, if you missed any of those, um, you can either rewind or you can check my blog this afternoon and I'll have them all there. So, okay, let's start by, so I'm gonna show you guys the idea here. So we've got, and I had to, I have to make sure before I go and like stick things on that this is, nope, okay, that's what I was kind of thinking. So this one, and you can do it either way. This is the one that's a little bit shorter, so that one has to be a little bit longer. This one is a little bit longer, or taller if you wanna say, so that one has to be a little bit, why does that still not feel right? So yeah, somehow I should have had these numbered on the back. Okay, that one's gonna go there. Never mind that. So longer, shorter, shorter, longer. Yeah, that's it. Okay, so I'm going to scoot. We're going to put these on right now because if I, we don't want to have to go through that again, right? <laughs> this is really not that complicated, I promise. Okay, so we're going to add our adhesive on these, but you can see you're only getting a little, a little touch of the lovely lipstick cardstock showing behind these pieces, right? So we got that one there. And honestly, if things, um, what you wanna make sure is the outside edge and right here are okay, because inside here is gonna get all covered up. So if things look a little funky on the inside, it doesn't really matter, because you're gonna cover that up. Yeah, like, because this, huh. You know, these little cuts sometimes are hard to make 
perfect. But I think we're doing a good job here. And we're going to add this one right about there. Okay, so that's good there. So now let's do our stamping on this piece. We're going to put that one over there. Okay, so again, the fun of the stamping. So this time I have, we're gonna start with, this is Soft Sea Foam Ink. Oh, I know, lovely lipstick. It's the color that I probably use more than any of the other retiring in colors too, Jamie, you're right. Such a pretty, we'll, have, we'll go back to Melon Mambo or there's a new pink too. Kind of a magenta. I think Diana, you were saying magenta because you love magenta. Okay, so let's see, I'm trying to, there's always one piece, this one right here that's kind of a bigger, I'm gonna call it blob, if you will. That's the one I always look for to see where did that get placed on the card and then everything else kind of lines up from there. So we are gonna do this one right about there, we'll say. So again, soft sea foam ink. Isn't that funny? I don't see a star when I, well, kind of I do, I don't know. I'm being wishy-washy today, I guess, ladies. Okay, so now this was petal pink. We're gonna ink that up. And again, that little divot right there, we're gonna try to get lined up inside. Yeah, there we go. Okay, that looks good. Do you see, this is what I was talking about. Oops, that. I'm trying to get that little divot lined up inside there. That's kind of my cue. And then trying to get this thing so it's not too far up or down from there. Okay, next we need a little bit more. We're gonna add some more vines. It's like you. this could just keep going and going and going if you wanted it to. So we're gonna add that one right there. And then I think I did one more, maybe not actually. I think I started to use these little guys. So this teeny tiny little bit that's gonna kind of branch off. Ooh, I did stamp that over further, didn't I? Maybe we will do... I guess I didn't stamp that over quite enough here. I'll show you, we'll do this one. You'll be able to see this one in full. This one's gonna come from right there and we're only gonna get a partial of this guy. I didn't stamp that one quite right, but that's okay. So those little babies there. And then we have this little teeny tiny, there we go, the little teeny tiny flower. And then this one is gonna pop right in there. Isn't that so pretty? And then this one is the one, actually maybe if I go up a little bit there, you can see it pretty well, right? Okay, then just the little star in pink. I kept looking at it like, oh, I feel like it just needs a little something else. So we're gonna do a couple little stars right there and there, okay? Next, we are gonna stamp the thank you for being you. So do you see how easy that is to kind of layer things? And like I said, you could keep going and going and going with that stamping and adding. It could just be like a beautiful vine, right? Okay, so let's grab, this was our scrap of Whisper White. That one is all set. So we've got the thank you for being you. And we'll just stamp that right on there. I love, it's a really nice crisp um, stamp there. The, the, um, the words are, I guess is what I'm trying to say. So the sentiment, oh, you gotta leave Susie. Okay, well, we catch up with us um, a little bit later. Yeah, you can watch the end of the video later. So we've got the layering circle dies. And again, these are not retiring. It says they are, but it's just gonna be a new number. So let's see, there's that one and that one. So in terms of scallop, we've got one, two, that's the third smallest scallop edge. And straight edge, this is the second smallest. Nope, third smallest also, one, two, three. So third smallest of straight edge and scallop edge circle that we are gonna use to die cut our sentiment and the little piece behind it. Okay, so we've got our thank you for being you with this little guy there and then just another strip of kind of scrap of lovely lipstick. We're gonna just put those both right on there and die cut these. I'm gonna layer them together and create our beautiful card. All right, let's get these things out of the way. <laughs> Is it gonna pop up? There we go. All right, so let's add, we're gonna put this sentiment on our scallop circle. 
our lovely lipstick scallop circle. So you can see it just barely peeks out. I like the idea that this kind of mirrors um, the little bit that peeks out of that card too. <laughs> well, hey, Anna, I'm glad you can catch us at the end here too. So you missed the fact that, and maybe others have too, I am learning, ha ha ha, barely, how to edit my videos. So I'm kind of clipping down, say for example, this card right here, I'm going to edit out just how I did the stamping for this card and I'm gonna upload it to YouTube. And the card that I already did, I'm gonna edit that down so it's just that clip also and put that one on YouTube. So you can either watch the full Facebook Live video here again or on YouTube or you can watch just the stamping if you want to make the cards or after you order the stuff then you can go back to YouTube and watch how to make the cards. So that's kind of fun. I was excited. I don't say I'm not going to say I'm really good at it, but I know how to I know how to cut out the rest of the video. That's what I know and that's it. <laughs> Maybe someday I'll learn more, but you know, one step at a time. It took me a while to get up the courage to do that, to be very honest. Okay, so that's gonna layer on there. And then we're gonna do the thank you for being you. Right, oh, I've got adhesive on there. We'll have to clean that off. So we got that one right there. And then I kept looking like, okay, it needs a little something else. So of course I had to pull in my champagne rhinestones that you guys were so good to me last week to remind me they are not retiring, which I'm thrilled about. So now I can go buy a bunch of packs of those and use those. And I feel like it might need one more. We're gonna do one more up there too. There, because I think I stamped that one down a little bit lower than I did on the other card. So there is our second project. So you guys, what do you think? Are you, are you falling in love with this Morning Star stamp set like I have? I don't know, how could you not, right? I just love, love, love that stamp set after playing with these cards. So I hope you guys enjoyed these projects. I hope you were inspired today. And don't forget, oops, I should move that out of the way. If you are so inclined to order any of the products that we use to make these cards, make sure you use the host code, the 2EHG34UD. Use that host code when you shop online. You will get either the make and takes or the completed projects with a $30 order. And your name is going to go in the drawing to win the awesome, you can't even get it right now, the Ornate Garden Ribbon Combo Pack. And then don't forget, if you bump your order up to $50, you are going to get to choose between either the Demo Design Dream Team Tutorial or the Gold Gilded Gems. All right. I think that's it. I think we're good. I hope you guys have a great day. I hope you have a great weekend. I hope you enjoyed these cards. Um, yeah, and let me know if you have any questions. Ooh, I forgot to mention that earlier too. You can always call me if you have any questions on anything. If you're trying to put an order in and you're struggling, let me know. I'm happy to help you. My number, 989-330-0259. I hope the sun is shining where you guys are and I hope you have a great weekend and I'll see you back here next Friday. Bye everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.